r slash is gridded. Serious they say life can change in an instant. What was a moment that caused your life to change instantly? Oh my gosh, I am so sorry. Our condolences. Six years ago when dad died. He left us a few dollars so we moved to another state to be closer to our children and grandchildren. Not wanting my grandchildren to see me in the shape I was in, it was bad, I quit drinking. Six years sober. Sorry for your loss. Well done on 6YRS and keep going. You should be proud. The day when my elderly parents needed to be hospitalized and I need to fight with Medicare to get them covered. Were you able to? The day I started taking antidepressants and antipsychotics. I changed as a person completely, I became much more lively, happier, and overall more in the moment. I was functional as a human again, I didn't have this overwhelming cloud of darkness over my life. Then I got my ADHD meds and I'm working a full-time job now as opposed to last year when I could barely sneak my way through two college classes per term. When I woke up on a Monday morning and found my wife had died. I'm sorry for your loss. So sorry to hear that buddy. Finding out my son was coming. I was about to be homeless and probably on the fast track to prison. Still had to go homeless for a little while, but I got everything turned around. Life is boring as fuck right now but it's stable for him and I guess that's what matters. When my husband took his last and final breath. That was the end of a beautiful love story that lasted 21 years. Edited to add, thank you very much for the support, guys. Silly question, but why do you feel life is boring right now? Last summer I had two moments, I got laid off from my job and then went through a breakup. The two things that gave me some purpose in life were gone. When I was choked to near death. First it happened it was a student, the second time it was the teacher that beat the shit out of me for 3 years. 12 years old I learned to bandage myself. 12 years old I drank and smoked for the first time. 12 years old was the first time I considered killing myself. Yeah, my life changed in an instant. When my parents died in a plane crash. I was a legal adult but that was still damn hard to cope with. The coronavirus really changed my life, lost my job, lost a loved one, lost one of my friends, lost my home because I couldn't pay the rent lost my car, but never did I lose hope. You are incredibly strong. The death of my father when I was 6. I know that I would have been a radically different person if he lived. Also, my divorce after a long marriage that I did not want. Sitting in the back of a police car. I was a very volatile person. I would put others down just to make myself feel better. I hated my life and where I was in life. A co-worker died on Christmas Day. I realized at the funeral that no one would show up had it been me. I turned my life around, got help for the debt I accumulated from trying to buy my happiness. I started to give back to people and I found happiness my teaching others. One of my roommates died on Thursday. He had too much to drink and choked in his sleep. He was an accomplished chef, lived what he did but he worked long stressful hours and I didn't get to see much of him when business picked up. I'm rethinking my own mortality and what what hours I'm willing to work but I'm taking this as symbolism for balance in life. It is tragic that he didn't get to spend his last days closer to family or live the long life he deserved. I am very sorry for your loss. Miscarrying. Now I randomly cry because I saw a pregnant lady, cry because I realize how old my son would be now, cry because I couldn't get pregnant again, cry because I keep being told I have time when I don't, cry because I'm showing menopause symptoms, etc etc etc. That sounds like a huge burden to have to carry. That's really unfair, and I hope that one day you'll be able to find some peace. It sounds like you deserve at least that. The moment I figured out I'm trans. How did you figure that out? I'd say one instant life-changing moment happened to me last year when Social Security gave me 24 grand out of nowhere. Yeah that's not too bad of a life changer honestly. Making friends on Animal Crossing. We would like to extend to you the following job offer. Car accident. 2018 went from a decent feeling 27 year old losing weight and feeling great and making good gains, to someone whose back is like that of s 50 plus year old after two surgeries. It's been rough but I'm out here. I found out my dad died from Huntington's disease and that there's a 50% chance that I already have it. Sorry for your loss. Wow. Scary. Look for what's wrong in yourself in what's wrong with others. That was a less than positive interaction, what did I do wrong in that situation? What can I do better next time? And why did I act that way? The day I met Megan. When the doctor told me I was having twins. When I got type 1 diabetes. 
When I got into a car crash last summer and my car was completely totaled. I was lucky to walk away from that. 9-11. I was 10 years old. It was like the whole fabric of reality changed, rather than it just being a terrorist incident. Getting a text in January that my girlfriend I had just celebrated 3 years with had been cheating on me. When the police knocked on our door at 8.43 am, to notify us that our 13 year old granddaughter had died by suicide. The world stopped for so many of us in that moment and hasn't really started again. When the children's hospital doctor confirmed that my 4 year old had an incurable autoimmune disease requiring 24 HR slash day monitoring and care. Then again, one year later when my 2 year old was diagnosed with the same one. Seeing a doctor who's clearly steeled themselves to give you bad news is something you don't really forget. I'm sorry for your loss. Reading these replies to up was a terrible mistake. A colleague secretly recorded me saying shit about our creepy director making comments about children and never being present. It still haunts me today. I went from 240k a year to nothing. My references never check. I'm at a loss for what the future brings. I know this is too late but never ever trust your co-workers. They are not your friend but your competitors. I learned this the hard way too. When I was 18 I was involved in a wreck that killed my first love. It has left me with a number of physical and mental issues, I don't know which is worse. They tend to take turns being my main challenge. These challenges will always be a part of me, but I think despite everything I went through, I've done a pretty good job. Bless you. I'm so sorry for you loss hopefully things will improve for you but he is in a happier place. I hope you're okay.